Hey Cubes, I'm Gigi Stoda, I'm a correspondent here at Bloomberg TV, and I'm so glad you're doing this because I love this building. I've worked in a number of newsrooms that are old and falling apart. They've got asbestos coming off the ceiling. Not here. This is more like a futuristic city in Tokyo. Let me show you around. We're here at Bloomberg headquarters in New York, which has 6,000 employees. And this area is known as the link where they all come to congregate. The idea is to promote interactivity and free flow sharing of ideas. This is the zipper, real-time information to keep us all informed, and the home of the famous pantry. Let's go look at that. The Bloomberg Pantry, kind of famous for providing free snacks, healthy and non-healthy varieties. Some of my personal favorites, various cappuccino machines, not having to go to Starbucks every day is very emancipating. And the pièce de résistance, natural organic peanut butter. Observe. Made of actual peanuts. One of the things that's really neat is that all of the cutlery, the spoons, everything is biodegradable. This is made of potato. This cup is made of cornstarch. You could take a bite out of it. Maybe not. They take great pains to make sure everything is composted here. And the best part, you can eat your snacks outside. This is the outdoor lounge area. And if you're having a stressful day, you come out here for five minutes, have a snack, decompress, and it really does make a difference. And it's kind of a brilliant plan on behalf of our employers because, of course, we never have to leave the building. One outstanding feature, fish tanks. They're in the walls, they're in the floor. We have 30 aquariums in this building, and the idea is to create a more tranquil environment for the employees. I don't know about you, but I feel calmer just looking at them. This is a pretty cool feature. It's very rare. It's one of less than 10 curved escalators in the entire world. Let's take a ride. And Bloomberg is famous for its art. In fact, this is a Spanish sculpture that is meant to replicate an actual thunderstorm cloud. Pretty neat. This is the green room where the guests sit and wait before they go on air. And the glass was actually made by 3M, which makes scotch tape, and it's meant to resemble scotch tape and it also offers privacy for the guests because you can't see directly in the room from the side when you're walking by. This is the newsroom. This is where all the magic happens. As you can see, no one here has an office. No one in the entire building has an office. Everyone at Bloomberg, even the president, has a cubicle. And it's very hard to get uppity or think you're all that when you have a dinky desk like everyone else. So it's a good thing. You could say this is the anti-cubes episode of Cubes. So this is where all the writers, producers, reporters, assignment managers sit and do their work, including the notorious murderer's row where all the bosses sit, including intrepid managing editor Dan Collery. So show us your baseball bat. This is uh, the deputy managing editor. Uh, helps me enforce my <laughs> points and my point of view on the reporters and the uh, producers. This is my desk and my very own Bloomberg terminal. Every employee at Bloomberg actually has one. And Michael Bloomberg founded this company in 1981 and sold the very first 22 Bloomberg terminals to Merrill Lynch. Now, the terminal has more than 300,000 subscribers. And a lot of people on Wall Street can't do their job without one. Security to get on the terminal is very tight. You have to show your fingerprint. This is the main set where most of our programs are filmed and it includes various bells and whistles like the touch screen where we can illustrate charts and even downward trajectories like the kinds we're seeing today. Hi everybody, Tom Keene with Bloomberg Surveillance and Surveillance Midday, a very busy day here. It's Friday, it's jobs day when we're doing this. Non-stop action. This is the Charlie Rose studio. It's been taping here since 1991. As you can see, there's not much to see. There's the iconic black background, the table and chairs, and all the cameras are robotically controlled so that all the guests feel like they're having an intimate one-on-one -on -one chat with Charlie. Now we're gonna show you the top of Bloomberg, the 29th floor.
colors here are green for up and red for down, just like the stock market indicators. This is the top of the Bloomberg headquarters, the 29th floor. Employees come here to relax, take a five minute break, and enjoy the gorgeous New York City skyline. Thanks for hanging with us, Cubes. I'm Gigi Stone, and I hope you enjoyed our Bloomberg building as much as we do.